right, people, and we are back with Control Breakers. It's been a good, like, what, 17 months since the last one? At least. It's back from the dead. <laughs> I actually did a Christmas buyer's guide with Patricia and Tristan, our friends, that ended up getting lost. So, no, no, sorry, no, no, no. guys. Let's explain this. Ended up getting lost because of you. But no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I, I, I never I, got it. I never got it. So it's not like you are mean fucking lost or get it did upload it. I'd upload it if I would have had it. It got lost in the ether. Don't blame me. Okay, so I'm looking right now. The last one was PlayStation Bundera on November 21st. So it's like been like wow. two months. <laughs> wow. Well, the last time we were here, we were talking about the new console generation. Now the new console generation is here and there's fuck all to play. Okay, so I played every game besides the sport ones on PS4. Every okay. game. Um, I enjoyed most of them. And uh, there you go. That sums it up. <laughs> so, so let's yeah. talk about some news, Joel. Yeah, let us. Let's talk about some news. Okay, so, uh, you know, Nintendo. You know the Nintendos. People I, love I've the heard Nintendos. Of, I've heard of the Nintendos and the Okay, Miyamotos. well, no one's going to be hearing about the Nintendos in about two years. Because uh, they released their sales expectations for this year. They expect it to sell 9 million Wii U's. Ugh. It's looking more like they're going to sell, like, two. Yikes. They're going to sell less Wii U's than Sony PS4s in a month. But they're Nintendo, though. They'll get by just on their rabid oh. fan base like they always have. Well, see, that's the thing. The 3DS is selling phenomenally well. The Wii U, no one's buying it. No one. That's unfortunate. And, I mean, I, I think the problem can be attributed to here is uh, no one wants to pay $300 for a system that's comparable to my PS3 or 360. And that most of the major game companies have gone, yeah, no, we're not going to make games. Yeah. Work. No, no. Uh, I think Nintendo shot themselves in the foot with that system. Well, again, it's like, this is Nintendo in a nutshell. They're always, you know, thinking the outside play. They're always thinking the crazy stuff. I mean, it was making a crazy decision that made the Wii the big uh, toy for old people and young kids that saw them through right. this generation. But, I, I do want to say this. The Wii, you know, sold very well. How many people, older people, that bought a Wii bought other games besides Wii Bowling and Tennis that came with it? No one. Well, it's funny you should mention that. My mom actually just got a Wii. She got a Wii on her own for the first time. <laughs> and what does she play? She plays real bass fishing. She really likes that. And <laughs> I think that's it. I know she got the stupid Green Lantern game based on the movie, and she's like, this is ass. And I'm like, you should see the movie. It is <laughs> ass. It, pr it probably captures it amazingly. Uh, and I was hoping to, I'm like, ooh, is this the one with co-op where you can be uh, Sinestro and Hal? Because if so, I call Sinestro and I just want to punch Hal in the face over and over again. <laughs> uh, and that and that was fun for a little bit. So, yeah, the, that's the Wii situation as yep. it stands. I mean, you know, a lot of people were predicting, you know, predicting, blah, 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 can't predicting. speak English right now. They were, they were predicting it so hard. <laughs> they were. Uh, you know, they were saying, all right. Once the new generation of consoles comes out, the Wii U is going to become the Dreamcast, and it already Ouch. has. Ouch. Well, I mean, hey, they, they had their door out, or they had their foot out the door first for next gen. Ah, uh, so. uh, Joel, they had their foot into last gen last. But, 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 but next gen is a, is a relative term, is, is what it is, Armin. It's, it's, it's such a relative term. Hey, if I can go get Batman Arkham City... Yeah, that's the second one. And it looks better on my PS3 and 360 than it does on the Wii U. That's a problem. But it's an armored edition, Armin. Armored. Oh, I know. Ar so much armor, man. So armored. here's the thing, though. Speaking of Nintendo, uh, I decided to support them because I bought a 3DS XL, the Luigi edition. Oh, with, nice, uh, nice. Pokemon X. Loving Sweet. the shit up out of that. Uh, I'm, I'm a little jealous. I have not bought any handheld console since the PSP. And I'm super jealous of you right now. <laughs> well, I bought the you know the Vita earlier in the year. Now I got the freaking uh, 3DS, and I'm loving the Pokemans. Of course, that Street Pass feature is the greatest thing I've ever seen on a handheld console. I mean, I will literally bring it with me, and if I'm by the mall, I will go and walk in the mall for like an extra 20 minutes just to get some Street Passes. <laughs> you you become that creepy guy hanging out at Playgrounds. Hey kids, you want a Street Pass with me? Want a Street Pass? I got a Charmander. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I love about the DS. It's giving creepy guys all over the world extra reason to linger in the playgrounds and the Chuck E. Cheeses. <laughs> uh. DS. 
Koi's best friend. Uh, I mean, just a wick. I'm just licking my lips up on a tree. That happens. <laughs> Although that seems to be the thing now. Do it's like you know, kids are really into it. But you know, for me, if I wanted to street pass, I'd go to a freaking college or one well, where the college kids are really hardcore into it. Like you know, my one of my small cousins had his birthday recently, right? Right. And you know, my family always goes, of course, and shit. And I'm seeing, I'm like, all right, his whole game collection and shit is like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto Five, and this kid's <laughs> like you know, eleven years old. And I'm right. looking in my pocket. I'm like, man, I'm playing Pokemon. This should be the other way around. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but the, the old, it's like, look how old he is with his wholesome, good hearted JRPGs. What the fuck's wrong with him? How many Nazis do you kill in that? I know. Well, I was not... like, what is happening? I mean, Jesus. I, kids these days, I tell you what. I know. We're, welcome to the old man portion of the <laughs> podcast where we talk about what's wrong with the youth today. <laughs> You don't understand the violence isn't real in the video games. <laughs> man, back in our day, man, it was real back when we were playing the siphon filters. All right, well, let's talk about the siphon filters, Joel, because PlayStation Now have all the siphon filters for oh, you. Oh, shit, they do, too. I could actually go back and play fucking... Look at that. Dude, we segue that. I had no plan on that shit. That was beautiful. Oh, my God. So here we go. Here we go. Uh, here's how it goes. Um, So during GDC, you know, or not GDC, a C... So what the fuck is this? CSE? Consumer Electronics Show. Yeah, CES. There we go. Man, all these acronyms are fucking... There's a lot of them. All right, so Consumer Electronics Show happened. PlayStation, of course, came out and announced their big thing. Uh, this is essentially future-proofing and backwards compatibility-proofing the PlayStation catalog of games. Now, Which is everything I've wanted and everything right. I've been asking now, for. Here's the thing. Uh, people aren't getting you know all the details. Uh, PlayStation... Now is going to be this revolutionary service where Sony has all these games, Uncharted, you know, all the backlog of Jack and Dexter, everything that's first party, God of War, uh, you know, all these legacy games that they own, Siphon Filter, the Metal Gear Solids that were, you know, exclusive to their system and stuff like that. Which, first. again, freaking, if any company should do something like this, it's freaking Sony because they have the best right. back freaking catalog because it's of the Sony PS2 and Nintendo, and but at Nintendo, as we talked about, they're stupid and 10 years behind everybody. So Sony comes out and announces this, right? It's going to be a service you pay for. You'll be able to rent games, but guess what? You buy a PlayStation 4, Sony Bravia TV, you buy that PlayStation TV device that's going to support this. The Vita TV that right. they keep talking the about. Right, the Vita TV thing. You know, you have an, you know, they've said this is going to go to like mobile phones. You'll be able to pair up a Bluetooth yeah, PlayStation yeah. controller. Guess what? In the palm of your hands, you'll be able to look at your iPhone, Bluetooth connect your PlayStation controller, and play Uncharted. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Now, my boner. You know, my boner, it hurts. <laughs> here's what's better with this, though. You know Sony behind the scenes right now is sitting there going, okay, if your game comes out on PlayStation 4, when PlayStation 5 comes out, it's a legacy title on PlayStation now. Backwards compatibility fixed. Forever. This is literally what we've always wanted. And, I mean, infrastructure is going to get better with the Internet as time goes. Mm -hmm. you know, and I've told my story multiple times. I played the entirety of Witcher 2 on Gaikai on PC. No lag, not a single problem. So this is going to work. I mean... I, I, I can't wait for this. This is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, I can't wait for this either. And before, you know, before we count our Sony ducks before they've hatched, how much is this service going to cost? Will it be available everywhere? Because I'm in Canada, and sometimes Canadians get fucked over on deals like this. I want like to tell this. you this right now. $9.99 yes. a month or get the fuck out. For, for them or for me? Are you asking me no. to give you $9.99? No, 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 that's how much they have to ask for. Yeah. If they come out there... And Netflix has set the precedent for how much you're allowed to ask for a net, you know, subscription. $15.99 right now for an MMO, people go get the fuck out and not play. And we've seen that happen. We can if go you play ask, Guild Wars. Right. If you go ask for more than 10 bucks, people are going to go, what? Now, here's the thing. You know, you're asking for 10 bucks. Let's say it's PlayStation Plus. Like, okay, 10 bucks a month, we'll give you 10 titles to play. If you want other titles, let's say the first month they give you Uncharted 1, right? Nice. How do you get Uncharted 2? Well, maybe you can wait and it'll be in down the road in six months. Or you can rent it for a month for five bucks. That's I think true. that's the best way to go. Okay, but here's my question, though, for backwards compatibility. And this is becoming more and more of a question as we move forward into a more digital future of gaming. If I get, say, uh, Metal Gear 2, if I want Metal Gear 2, if I want to stream it from this PlayStation Now service, 
do I own that? Can I keep that in my thing and play it whenever I want? Or do I not really own it? I think we're going to... This is going to be the deciding, you know... This is going to be the discussion of topic for the next Game five Game ownership. Years, Game know? ownership. Do we really own yeah. what we download? I can tell you this right now because, like, you know, I own... I have Steam. I'm pretty sure you've seen I own over 500 games. Yeah, I've seen. You know, I, I, I love digital... You know, consumption, I love it. It's right there. I can download it. I'm going to buy a Steam machine when that comes out, which we'll talk about that next. Uh, but um, uh, it's this weird thing because the, you remember the game Prey that came out? Yes, yes, I do. That game studio got shut down. Indeed, I own Prey on Steam. My friends can see that the game exists in my library. They can't get it, but I can. Huh. It's this weird thing where licenses are going to lapse. And let me talk about that quickly um, since we haven't done it. Xbox Live just had a sale uh, over Christmas, right? Right. And they did a giant Marvel sale. Every Spider-Man game was seven fifty. Nice. I bought every single game. The day after that sale ended, they were all pulled because Activision lost the license. You <laughs> cannot buy it anymore, but it was forever in my history and I own it. Damn. See, that is such a weird thing. So... They're going to run a license, you know, and let's say Metal Gear 5 comes out streaming, right? Right. If you don't buy in the first two years, the license might lapse. You'll never own it. But, you know, technically I will, and they can't pull it from that service unless the service shuts down. See, that worries me. That scares me. Moving and to the there future. There was a, um actual digital distribution platform, I can't remember what its name was, where I actually had about eight or nine games bought. The service shut down. I didn't own my digital copies. What they did was send me physical copy of every game. Oh, well, that was nice. But I don't think but not so everyone's going to be yeah, that. Right. Nice. You can't do that because this was a smaller service. I mean, this is going to be PlayStation. What? I mean, let's say you buy Metal Gear 1, right? Right. You play it in 10 years. PlayStation now shuts down. You really think they're going to send you a copy of Metal Gear Solid 1 wrapped up in original shrink wrap? Hell yeah, for no. For the freaking PS1, I doubt it. Actually, it's right. funny you should mention Metal Gear 1 because I actually did buy Metal Gear 1 from the PlayStation Store. Oh, I did too, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I own Metal Gear 1 now in almost every platform it's been released on. GameCube with the Twin Snakes, uh, Digital, the Legacy Connect Collection, all of it. <laughs> nice, nice. So... You know, speaking of that whole digital thing, Joel, let's talk about Steam Machines and how everybody's confused at what's happening. Yeah, I'm a little confused. Okay, Joel, here's what I tell you. You have a laptop, but it doesn't run all the games, right? Well, it's a top-of-the-line laptop. Well, it was top-of-the-line when I bought it. It's probably yeah. not anymore, but it's a pretty good laptop. I can rock my Borderlands on I can rock my okay. DC Universe on it, and it's pretty good. Okay, well, so what if I told you, come summer... You're going to be able to walk into Best Buy and uh -huh. have a range of Steam machines from $400 uh -huh. to $2,000. Uh -huh. These will play the games that are ste on Steam that you can't get on console. You'll be able to play Rome Total War. You'll be able to play Civilization the way it's intended to be played. Hell, you can use the controller they bundled or hook up a keyboard and mouse and just play I can, it. I, I can play Banner Saga if I want. And uh, Sure, why not? Is it on there? Sure. But yes, here's is. the thing I want to, you know, tell you about it. You're looking at that one price. They're going to guarantee that the game coming out has to scale to that. So guess what? You buy it on the $500 machine, mm -hmm. they're going to optimize so it runs good on that $500 machine. Just like if you bought it on a PS3 and a PS4, yeah, the more expensive one is going to have it look better. But guess what? You can still play it on the older one. Huh. And I think people are missing the point here. When you look at Steam... You know this is what they're going to do. Oh, buy our Steam machine right now. If you buy it during the July 4th weekend, you get the you know $50 Steam card automatically credited to you. You know how much games you can buy for 50 bucks on a Steam sale on 4th of July? All the games, basically. You, you can buy like 20 games. I mean, you'll be able to go buy Assassin's Creed 4 if you want for 7 bucks. Yeah, a freaking Steam sale is such a thing. I don't even really play that many games on my laptop. I play more than I used to. But during the Steam sale, I'm like, must oh, yeah. buy. I told you, I run my web, you know, my profile through the Steam. How much have you played? Out of the 500 and something games I own, I haven't played 87.4% of them. I mean, think about that for a second. Yeah, I bought over 500 games. I buy them because I'm like, oh, it's nice. It's going to just sit here. I have it. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think people are really lost as to what's happening with Steam. 
just wait till this comes out and it's going to be it's not going to be a you know a instant oh my god it sells 3 million units in the first month maybe it'll sell 3 million in the first year but guess what that's 3 million more people that'll have it in their house and when people come over and say wait what the hell is this it's like oh it's, it's a steam machine check out how cheap this game is this weekend uh, you're winning i mean yeah. I really don't know. I mean, and Steam has gone out, you know, G Gabe and Valve have been looking into other streaming partners in there for TV and Netflix and stuff. I mean, they're really going to make this an all-in-one device also, just like everything else in your freaking house, so. Yeah. It's an interesting new age of digital distribution and shit. <laughs> it's it's awesome. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Indeed. <sighs> it's interesting. So, now that we've done talking all the big stuff we want to talk about, um, let's talk about what we've been playing during the last two months we haven't been here, Joel. Yeah, shit, we haven't been here, have we? Uh, so, um, like I said, I'm playing the Pokemans, the Pokemon of Xs, of course. Gotta love them Pokemans. Uh, I'm trying to catch them all. <laughs> You'll never really catch them all. No, no, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna catch all, all like 480 or whatever they're up to. My friend's like 851. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> Look, all, all you have to do is catch the original 250, and then you can leave it at oh, that. Oh, you noob, it's 150. And no, it's, no, it's no, no, the original was 151. 150. Okay, chef. It's been so long. Yo, since listen, I yo, send your Pokemon hate mail to Joel. Hate mail to Joel. Yeah, yeah. I, I should fucking know that. Is what I should. I was heavy into Pokemon. I should totally know that. But, but do you know the Pokey rap though? Uh, go Pokey, go Pokey, go. <laughs> yes, that's the Pokey rap. Uh, mm. I like big Pokemons, and I cannot lie. That's also the Poke rap. All your other brothers can't deny with a big Snorlax all up in your face. And he won't move due to no flu up in your <laughs> something. I don't fucking know. And then you gotta go in the Diglett cave. Yeah. Now someone's gonna expect us to. Uh, oh, I don't even know. Yeah, let's not go into Diglett caves. <laughs> let's not go so, into Diglett caves. Let's just stay away. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've been playing the Pokemans. Um, let's see. Uh, well, I've been playing a sh ton of stuff. Um, I replayed the Tomb Raider game. Oh, right on. I got it like the collector's edition for cheaper than the normal version. Right. So I replay that, and, um, you know, still stand by it. It's a fun game, but it's not Tomb Raider, and it's it's a cheap Uncharted. But, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll take what I can get till the next Uncharted. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, play, been playing those Spider-Man games I have. Um, of course, played all the PlayStation 4 titles. Assassin's Creed 4, phenomenal. Uh, mm -hmm. Killzone, Shadowfall, uh, amazing. Battlefield 4, fuck that game. <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Ghost, uh, not good. Not their best outing. Even the hardcore Call of Duty fans are like, yeah, this was not the best one. I actually, um... Ooh, good, I could tell this awesome story in a second. So I went... I got really drunk one day in the afternoon. Of course, it as was like you are prone to do. Right, it was like 1 p.m. and I was stumbling drunk down my main street. I went into GameStop, sat on the floor, put an X-Bone in front of me, a 360 and a 3DS XL, and I... And I like just sat staring there at them, and like the people working there clearly knew I was drunk, but they know me, so they didn't kick me out. <laughs> and after like half an hour, I'm just like, oh, thanks, three sixty, and a Pokemon. So I spent like six hundred bucks in one swoop, right? Like alcoholic me. Ah, uh, drunk three... spending, the best spending. But the three sixty came with Tomb Raider, Halo Four, and Call of Duty Ghost. And right there in the same transaction, I traded in Call of Duty Ghost. And rebought Black Ops. Nice. Or Black Ops 2. So I was like, oh man, I made good with Call of Duty. So. It, it, it's, so it's so funny you should say that because, you know, I was actually sitting here going there. It's like, man, you know, I could buy a new console and really only have like two or three games to play. Or I could actually go and buy an Xbox 360 that I've never owned before. Oh man, that I bought it because I haven't had a 360 in two years since my last one died. Yeah. And I'm getting like this resurgence of games that I haven't played in a while. Or that I only got a little bit into, like, Gears of War Judgment. Yeah. yeah, it's not exactly a great game. But guess what? I bought Judgment 1, 2, and 3, all for 18 bucks combined, so... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be quite the thing, you know, to go back Oh my and god, play. Joel is whistling. No, it's okay, my house is just on fire. It's oh, okay, fun. cool, cool, keep talking, uh, the games. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, I will talk, uh, that's, that's how much I care about you people. I will podcast even as my house burns down. <laughs> Joel, he died doing what he loved. 
<laughs> yeah, you, you, like, I'm looking on eBay right now as we record this, and you can get a reconditioned uh, 360 for a steal, and then, you know, even the games at even cheaper. I mean, I could play the Gears of War, like you said, that I've never played before. I could play the Fables that I've never yeah. played before. I mean- I think 360 right now is the optimum time to go buy it. it you know what? <laughs> Ignore the PS4, okay? Ignore the PS freaking or the Xbox One and the Wii U. Go buy 360s and Xboxes, people. You have great libraries of games. Like, I will tell you this. I played Halo 4 for the first time the other day. I put it in. After the cinematic ended, the game started. I didn't realize I was supposed to be playing. It's <laughs> that moment of Uncharted 2 and freaking um, The Last of Us. Where the graphics are so good that you're literally like struck with um like I, I don't know what's happening. It's that good looking. Like, go, people, don't buy next gen systems. Go buy these old systems and <laughs> yeah, enjoy go all buy, the shit. Yeah, go buy old systems. Be like the guys but, when the PlayStation Three came out, who or who you know the Xbox owners who bought PlayStation Twos yeah, and played everything. I will tell you this right now. After I beat all my games on PS4, I haven't touched a touched a PS4 since December twelfth. Wow. It's just sitting here now. I'm waiting for Thief and, uh, I don't know what the hell else, uh, Drive Club. Infamous. Yeah, and Infamous. There's not a lot of games. I literally went in and I looked, because I was about to buy the X-Bone, and I looked at all the great three, you know, 360 titles that I wanted to replay or play again, and I was just like, no, we're, we're getting this. Like, the new Fable anniversary is coming, you know, the redone Fable 1. I that can't wait fun. to play that shit, you know? It's, oh my god, I'm, I'm so excited for all this shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 looks really fun. Yeah, look, like again, I'm looking at eBay right now. I can get a Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 console, power cord, component cable, good working condition for about sixty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's dude, it's worth it <laughs> for the price of a game, and then the games themselves for ridiculously yeah, cheaper. You, what what Shan I did because you know she worked um decided to work the holiday season at GameStop just so we could get a discount. Yeah, me and her took two hundred dollars and went and bought games. We came home with 38 games. Exactly. It's it's a thrifty <laughs> thing to do. It's thrifty. amazing. Like, I was like, oh, this is this is going to, like, last us forever. She's right now playing through Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. And yeah, I'm going to have cool. her on the next show after she beats all three so she can talk to it. And oh, I want be cool. I want us to retro, you know, retrospect on Mass Effect as a whole. That but sounds good. She is literally, she comes home. She does P90X. She sits in front of the TV for six hours, not moving, playing Mass Effect. Nice, nice, nice. Like, I'm just like, yeah, see, like, th- this is the beauty of having these consoles that are old generation now, you know? <laughs> now, again, as someone who's never owned an Xbox 360 before, uh, what other features does the 360 come with? I mean, it, does it have a DVD player built into, or like, yes. what's... Okay, you have a DVD does. player, you don't have Blu-ray, um, uh, you have arguably, I would say, the best, like... Netflix and everything just seems to kind of work. Well, okay, now, Netflix is now the same because they universally made it the same on everything. Uh, you're not a UFC fan, but if you are, UFC on there is the best thing ever. Um, right on. I mean, it's pretty much PlayStation. The only thing you're getting when you get these consoles is exclusives that you haven't right. played. You okay, know, I, and, so, can I hook up my USBs to it? Yes. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. Yeah, d- d- uh, again, you already mentioned uh, Netflix. I'm, ge- I'm guessing they don't have like a free streaming thing like Crackle. I've actually really no, they have Crackle because Sony did put it on there. <laughs> oh, they, oh, yep. they, they seriously have Crackle. Okay, well, here's the funny thing. So, so I haven't actually been paying for satellite since forever now, just because it's just like, eh, you know what? I, I download all my shit. I stream all my shit. What's the point of paying for straight up satellite anymore? During the day when I'm writing comic reviews, I watch Crackle. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I, I literally just toss on Netflix now. You know, I bought. Hulu Plus, eight bucks a month. Netflix, eight bucks a month. So it's you know I'm paying fifteen bucks a month for all these services. But, you know I get the newest episodes right then and there. It's convenient. It all just works well. I like the uniform system. Like, like you know people think like I, I hate Microsoft or Xbox. No, I've just no. had nine three sixties fail on me. And guess what? Yeah. Six of those were the old white sh- you know like bad ones before they decide to replace the chips and shit, which has all been taken care of now. Yeah. So. I'm all up for Microsoft. I mean, I'm loving the shit out of Halo 4. <laughs> yeah. But what we're saying is we're late in life converts to Microsoft, and we're saying yeah. now is the best time. <laughs> Screw the next gen. Go retro and old gen is what we're saying. Yep. Oh. Be sure to tune in next week when we've all bought uh, Nintendo 64s, and we're going to tell you how great the Nintendo 64 is. Well, I still have a... Um, I bought the uh, USB... 
N64 controller oh, for my awesome. PC, which is hooked up to my uh, home entertainment system. Nice, the PC nice, I've connected nice. to, which of course I only use to pa- play backups of games I actually own. I'm not condoning piracy here at all. Yep. I just want to make that clear. I do own Arr. these games. Um, No Mercy, Mario 64, you know, Ocarina of Time. I own every one of these games on multiple Classics. platforms. So I am actually playing. The only reason I'm playing them emulated is because you can import like better textures and stuff. Those are always and, you know, nice. and you can run them constant in 60 frames a second. So they look Those phenomenal and run phenomenally well. So, I mean, what what have you been playing, Joel? Uh, again, it was kind of a lean Christmas around the Daily House, so I didn't get all the games I wanted like I usually do. I've been making good use of the Steam, is what I have. I bought, uh, what's that great ninja game from the guys who make Shank? Uh, you were loving it, you kept talking. Oh, about. Uh, oh Mark of the Ninja. Mark, Mark of the, the ninja. ninja, yeah. Mark of the Ninja is sick as hell. I got that, I picked that one up on the Steam sale. Oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Getting to play through that, that's super fun. Uh, Banner Saga. Oh my god, can I talk about how awesome Banner Saga is? <laughs> if you are like me, people, and you were really into like that whole uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Fire Emblem style of moving your dudes around the map RPG combat, you need to play Banner Saga. It's all Norse <laughs> and Vikings, and I, it has this amazing, beautiful art style. To it, actually, I actually I kind of know the artist who does it. Uh, or one of the guys who worked on it, he uh, goes by the handle Kilted Animator. He was very active around the spill scene for a little bit. He also worked on Disney Epic Mickey, but this is one of his projects that he uh, really wanted to do on a hot damn is it a beautiful game. Oh, I will just say, if you haven't seen it, go see Frozen. I don't know. I just want to put that in there right and now. And Frozen's pretty no- Norse, too. So, yeah, d- I-, I agree <laughs> with that. You should go see go Frozen. Go watch Frozen. It's fucking amazing. Frozen was on my top ten best uh, movies of last year, which is over on my Daily Motion. If you're interested, I, I haven't shopped that one around anywhere. Just if you're interested, I have a Daily Motion page for all the stuff YouTube won't let me put up. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I mean, let's see, what the fuck else have I been playing? Uh, I've just been pretty much jumping between games. I mean, I beat Mass Effect One on PS3 because I didn't have it before, and I bought you know the collection, like I said, for Shay to play. You I might pl- hate me. I've never actually played Mass Effect One. I've played two and yeah, three. No. I fucking hate you. T- tell you what, if someone wants to put some money in my PlayStation account, I will happily go and play it before the next show. <laughs> See, I, Mass Effect 1, and, you know, Shay had the greatest response ever. Starts Mass Effect 1 a little hard to get into, right? It's but then she gets into girl. it, and she loves the shit out of it. She did everything you could in that game, all the missions and everything. And she goes to Mass Effect 2, and the first hour, she's just sitting there quiet. And she goes, all right, so where's my skill trees and stuff like Mass Effect 1? Where's my weapons? When do I outfit my armor? When do I get to augment it and, you know, make it better and resistive against this? I was like, oh, you don't. She just goes, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. Like, she was genuinely pissed. They stripped out a lot of the RPG. But, I mean, she's enjoying Mass Effect 2 for the same reason I enjoy it. The story and the characters are so well written, but the gameplay took a massive step back. Yeah, I mean, to, to me, Mass Effect 2 is probably my top 10 favorite games of all time, just in terms of writing and in the way that it's structured. See, Instead of telling one big story, it's a bunch of small, right. little me, mini stories. I have to replay Dragon Age Origins, which I'm getting ready to do on Xbox 360, because I bought that Dragon Age Origins, either. I think Dragon Age Origins has the best writing in a Bioware game I've ever seen. Really? It, it, Mass Effect 2 is my, like, Mass Effect 1 and 2 are tied for me in top by, but it Dragon Age Origin kills how good the writing is. It's it's I think it's Bioware at their peak. Like right. you can't compare with that. <laughs> and also it takes you about eighty hours to beat and has one of the best dwarfs ever written in fiction, so I like dwarves. Yeah, dwarves everybody likes dwarves. dwarves. <laughs> everybody likes them dwarves. So what else have you been playing? Or is that about it? That's about it. I have not been playing. A... It's funny, as when I heard all that Hitman news, because again, because I still have my capture card. Yes, I'm still Let's Playing God Hand, everybody. I did like 21 parts, and they're slowly coming out. But when I heard that Hitman news, I'm like, oh, you know what? Now might be a good time to go back and play Absolution again, because, you know, I played Absolution. I beat it. And yeah, I'm going back and playing Absolution. The fact that the game keeps score is still annoying after all this time. But the parts that I still really liked about it, mainly the weird southern fried noir villains and settings, that stuff still holds up. Yep. And actually, actually, that's a piece of news we didn't talk about, the whole Hitman thing. 
apparently they delayed or scrapped one game. There's going to be one on the iOS, but there's going to be a new next-gen one coming. But this one is actually set before Absolution. Did you hear that? I got so excited. I was about to buy the Hitman like collection that they have, you know, re-released. And I was like, I don't know, because I looked at the first two titles before Blood Money. They have not aged well. No, no, they're they're a little rough around the edges. They're yeah. a little, little, little rough. Like, they, like a lot of you know the ports, they kind of changed some stuff around. They made it look semi better. This is like straight up. No, we just ported this shit. Like, it's rough looking. It's it's a little rough around the and edges. Yes, I, I, before people ask, I bought the Jack and Dexter and Ooh. the Ratchet and Clank collections. Hell I'm going yeah. to get through those in a few months. I need to find time where I feel like I want to play a platformer and just do it, you know? Hells, yeah. Uh, you'll be happy. I forget at what point they switched Jack's voice actor over, but eventually Josh Keaton, the guy who is the Yay, voice of Spider-Man. Spider-Man! Becomes, yeah, he becomes Jack at a certain point. <laughs> yeah, he ends up becoming Jack, and that's cool. He's, he was a good actor for that. That's always good. He's a great voice actor. Mm-hmm. Oh that's my god! Fun stuff. So I think that sums up most of what I've been playing. I mean, um, well, wait, wait, I can toot my horn a little bit. I went and checked in a year and a half that I haven't played in. I went and checked my uh, scores for Joe Danger on PlayStation. Oh, nice! On nice. like the thirty-eighth level, I still hold the second highest world record score in that game. <laughs> so, and I am like off from the third place guy, something by like six billion. <laughs> Which is comboing a trick after the timer stops for about an hour and 40 minutes without failing. Nice. Yeah, I am ridiculous at that game. If I ever feel like... if Okay, if YouTube doesn't fuck us with the whole um, you know, gaming thing like they have people, I will yeah. record a run of Joe Danger so people can literally think I am like a god at that game. You are the Joe Danger god. You are the god of danger. It, it, people don't understand how I do what I do in that game. <laughs> which, uh, which again, people too wondering about our Let's Plays. We still have the backup Let's Play channel. Again, my uh, my but God Hand stuff is slowly trickling literally out. Literally, all there. the injustice and Grand Theft Autos and stuff on there all got flagged. Yeah. So I had to bring them down. Yeah, which sucks. But hey, the, them's the new YouTube rules. That's that's why I've backed up all my shit on my uh, on my Daily Motion page, which is funny. I, I always thought that you know Daily Motion was like the retarded younger brother of YouTube, right. but now I go over to Daily Motion. I'm like, oh, this interface is really nice, and I don't get fucked over all the time for video <laughs> content. Wow, Daily Motion, you got really cool since I last stopped hanging. <laughs> and Daily Motion's like, yeah, I know, man. I'm, I'm really cool now. I got this leisure suit. <laughs> Jeez, thanks, Daily Motion. That's okay, Joe. You a okay. <laughs> I'm glad to turn into Sylvester Stallone when he's been beaten to death. <laughs> thanks, Joe. You feel cool. Well, speaking of which, I watched that movie Escape Plan with him. Oh yeah, Tiger. did you? I I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's yeah, it's a dumb, fun '80s action. I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed the Expendables. I think it's a yep. truer yep. what Expendables yep. is trying to go for. Yep. But here's the thing: Have you seen Grudge Match yet? Are you ready to Which see? Which one's Grudge, Grudge Match? Match? That's Stallone and uh, De Niro. Oh fuck no! As two old men boxing each other, and basically the sales pitch is: Hey, what if we got the actor who played Rocky and the actor who played uh, Raging Bull together in one movie to fight each other? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Yeah, but it'll make a lot of money, and we'll release it on Christmas. You know, for people who don't know, that is a very good sign to watch out for if they release a movie on Christmas, because that's usually a dumping ground. Christmas Day, because they know they've got people stuck. with like, ha-ha, they'll have to come see it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we've covered most of what we want to talk about. I mean, it's a quick show, but like we said, we're going to do these quicker shows. Yeah, we're going to try and get these ones out here. So right. it's and, you know, for the next point. six months, it might be a more of what we're playing now and just talking about a little bit of news. Because, let's face it, there's not a lot of good games. But, hey, I'm playing a shit ton of good stuff that I haven't played. So maybe I'll review Halo 4 next show. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And, hey, you know, to help fill things up, maybe we can do a show talking about our favorite Let's Players or whatnot. Because, okay. you know, we're getting more no, into Let's Players. How about next time we talk about our favorite games of last year? Because we really need to hammer that one out. Because I think we played a lot of shit. And a lot of shit came out that we maybe missed and we want to play. Yeah, shit. So, I've... yeah, let's do that. Shit, I, I might need to get my YouTube monies together and actually spend some money on some more games for to playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll find it. 
All right, everybody. So thank you for joining us for another Control Breakers. It's been a while. Going to get more frequent again. So, yeah. Uh, take care, everybody. Yeah, Control Breakers out. Boop. <laughs>